to this album hero quest is right here like my album 26 tracks um i'm not gonna go into every single song but like for example cult the first song on the album or no, the first song on the album is hero quest anthem so hero quest anthem it is usually it's yeah i'll i'll put together a beat a, some kicks just to get like my brain going um but it's really about the melody for me. I like to make a melody first, just like the same way that when I'm working with a songwriter and I just need to hear the hook first, not the verse. I need to hear the hook first. I mean, they might sing the verse to get to the hook, but the hook is where I'm going to be like, this is a keeper. This is what I'm going to build into a song. Um, the same way with the, the musical melodies, um, I need to know that like, okay, you know, like that's, uh, and then done so like these melodies i'll start working on those melodies first that's hero quest anthem those are like the two main melodies of that song so once i have those melodies down then i know i'm gonna how to build it out the sound design the like everything else um when it comes to like a vocal led track like cult like i was talking about uh uh grandson wrote that uh maybe i should join a cult please don't tell me it's not my fault so like when i hear that i'm like oh my god this is the jam he sends me everything and then i start building out the song um and then i'm like yo we need another singer on here to really uh really amplify it and that's where i got josiah um but every, i mean all these all these different tracks are like different ways like movie star which is my my latest single that's like me and global dan wrote that in the studio together from scratch okay. literally from scratch we started off with a melody um we actually know we started off with like a guitar riff like just like a guitar riff that sounded cool i like that we put that on loop i sat on the couch with dan and he was he was he just started singing like you know shine on like oh am i they would make it far. They I forgot the place. They make it far. You know, it starts off like it's like actually like mumbles. And then you start putting li li lyrics together. Papa Rossi's going hard. You know, and then you start putting the lyrics and he starts putting I didn't put the lyrics in. He put the lyrics in. Then I'm like, that's the fucking hook. We're gonna build that into a song. And then and then he comes up with a verse back in high school. I was left out. He was left out laughing at him and all, you know, and then it just starts building into a story, you know, and he's a storyteller, Dan. And then that's when we got mod son and we're like, oh man, if we got to get another vocalist, like I like to always add, I always use, generally, I don't necessarily always have one vocalist. I like to kind of bring in like a team together, like, you know, mod son adding, jumping on that one was, was awesome. He added so much weight to that song okay so yeah that's just some ideas cool that sounds good so what inspires you when it comes to producing music everything like that's the thing is that you have to keep your 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 like the life floodgates wide open be completely vulnerable and exposed and the more vulnerable and exposed you are the more you're you're going to let it now that you land a lot of clutter that way but that's where the magic happens that's where the genius happens i'm gonna say i'm a genius but I, I feel like great producers great artists they they allow themselves to be vulnerable a lot of stimulus comes in and whatever stimulus that you find that really sparks that moment it sparks as something special that's where the like the, the the flower starts blossoming out that's where you grab that one and you're able to to create something from that you know and and the the genius part is finding it because that's the most difficult part you know if you ask if you ask any any uh, musician that can play like piano and just kill it or just like crush a guitar it's different to playing and to to actually writing the song going this is the riff that's going to turn into the song these are the the notes these are the 12 notes that are going to turn into the midi that will create you know the basis of of this melody of the song you know it's it's like um that's i, I always found find that the most difficult part 
because you, I mean, you know, I always bring in musicians because I'm a, a very rudimentary player. You know, I, I could play and I, and I, and I use my two fingers to come up with different patterns of different melodies together. And then once I have that, then I bring in musicians to help me flesh all that stuff out. And then I'm like, this is going to be the basis of this song. These, this like six seconds will be the basis of what will become the foundation. It's a foundation of what will become, uh, you know, the track. And, and, you know, if you, if you with EDM, with EDM, I mean, with all music, really, like all the music that that we that you know majority of the people listen to, it's really based on on six to eight seconds. You need the six to eight seconds to be bangers. Like my biggest one, of my biggest songs, "Boneless," is bump 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 five seconds. Mm-hmm. Now, if I don't have those five seconds be so catchy and make everyone want to sing to it, it's not going to be a hit. Okay, so it's like all about a very short amount of time that you can actually develop something special. So it's like you have to be able to create that and then you build around that, right? Okay. And do you do you have those like five seconds in the beginning or is it like coming through the process? I mean, I'm always thinking in my head, what are those five seconds? So, you know, whether I'm writing it out, whether... One of the people I work with, one of the writers and producers I work with that are working on the music with me are actually um, laying it out. I'm listening, I'm making it, I'm creating at the same time. Wait, what's that over there? Oh shit, let's bring that over here. Let's let's like let's listen to that on loop. Let's put some beats under it. Let's see where what how we can build that into something special. Sit on it for a day, on a week, sometimes two weeks, sometimes two years. If it still remains fresh, you have something. I have hundreds of ideas, hundreds that are in my, I mean, not just my computer, because that would be very dangerous and stupid, but, uh, you know, on the cloud, whatever. Um, and and sometimes I go back and I go, let's listen to stuff that, that I made back in 2015, 2016 that didn't make the cut back then. Are these some songs, ideas that we could build off of? And sometimes those end up becoming great records of songs that come out years and years later okay that's cool nice and what's like your favorite part of your job is it producing music is it being live on a concert or is it like something super different it's definitely live being on stage connecting with people to my music is definitely like the 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 greatest high i've ever experienced uh this is also a big reason why i never cared about doing recreational drugs because this high trumps every high and it's renewable it's a renewable energy it's sustainable and it's also healthy like you could keep going with this and it, it fills your your meter up and it it gives you life it gives you energy it gives you love it gives you gratitude compassion empathy connection to other people to strangers it's it literally there's no greater high that you could possibly get than being on stage and connecting with people that have a, a real, true, passionate, emotional response to your music. Cool. I can imagine. Must be cool. <laughs> it really is. And to what kind of music do you listen in, in, in private? Is it Do you listen to your own music or do you have like favorite bands or songs or... I do listen to my own music. I do listen to it like when I'm, when it's fresh and new, I will play it to, with my friends, you know, like if it's like, you know, Hero Quest, I'm still like pumping it out, you know, now. And, you know, like at my live shows, it's like 95% of my music I'm playing. I play like, uh, like I'm a band, like I'm playing my own music, you know, although I'm a DJ and I'm supposed to be DJing other people's music and mixing it up. Uh, most of the time I'm just playing my, my music. I mean, I've done seven studio albums. And outside of those albums, I've released tons of EPs and singles and whatnot. Um, but yes, yeah, so I do listen to my own music. But like when I'm, I, I kind of use music as a utility. So uh, as a function. So when I'm working out, I listen, you know, I like to go back to Rage, Rage Against the Machine and Linkin Park. But at the same time, I want to hear some EDM too that might push me over the edge. Um, I make playlists actually for uh, Orange Theory that that really push people beyond their comfort zone when they work out so um 
actually doing those playlists like really re-energized me to to really find the music that really does push you out of your skin get you get you the results you're looking for when you're working out uh when i'm meditating i listen to like meditative music you know and some of it's stuff i've made that only i that's only for me because actually during covid i made a ton of music i i went i, I just was free to create not just for my albums and, and for streaming and for the shows I wanted to make music at a certain Hertz level that is going to, to like create a, a certain sense of well-being and a certain mental mental state when I'm when I'm meditating or if I'm being in that space. Um, and I mean, I just go across the board. I listen to all kinds of stuff, you know. And also, you, I, I'm so whenever I'm with friends, I never want to control the playlist. I never want to be the DJ, <laughs> which is kind of funny and ironic. But I want to hear what other people are listening to. I want to, like, I'm curious. And I think that's the DJ side of me, you know, learning about different music cultures and sounds and artists and songs. And I have to stay fresh in that game. I have to say, you know, you stay relevant by being being on the nose of what's what's going to happen next. And luckily I have, like, such a very diverse group of friends that, that I'm, I'm, like, just putting my ear out there going, what are you listening to? What, what's, like... Oh, I, I never heard like this whole genre, you know, show me more. Okay, that's cool. And do you have like a favorite song, a favorite song at the moment or like um, a favorite song of all time you're listening since years? My favorite song right now is Movie Star. My my, I, And I'm not going to just plug it because it's my new single. But for one, I'm finally, I'm so excited it finally came out because we've been working on this one for a while. We've been saving this song to, for the album release and I literally like play it all the time because it's, it's just like even though it's a song I made and it's, it's on my album like Global Dan and, and Mod Sun their DNA is all over the song we're kind of listening for them you know and I love what they did to the song um uh all time Bohemian Rhapsody is what the greatest song ever made true <laughs> okay cool and You're so long in the business. Do you still have dreams or goals you want to achieve? Yeah, of course. Um, I have every day I have new challenges. Um, I think what part of my success is discipline and accountability and, you know, and always to iterate and innovate whatever I'm working on. You can never be like, okay, we built the wheel. We're done. That would just, just like let, let the things passively exist. Everything is with deliberation. Everything is like, if you really care about it, you have to think about what the next evolution of what, whatever that is, is. So, um, you know, I, I'm, it, it's, it's just, I, I love, I'm passionate about creating. I'm passionate about being, um, about innovating in the space that I, that I love. And, um, I forgot what the question you asked. <laughs> about your your goals and dreams oh my goals okay yeah so my goals are always evolving off of the things i'm already doing in music in web3 and nfts in tcg with metazoo and now with hero quest um but i have some other goals outside of that you know like longevity living living forever starting off by making 120 the new 80 mm -hmm. um, um going into space i want to be the first DJ into space. I want to make the, I want to be the first musician to make a song in space. Okay. I want to go to space. Cool. You know what I mean? So, like I'm obsessed with space. <laughs> Elon Musk is my hero. And I, I, I'm just like a big fanboy of Elon. So I, you know, I want to, uh, I want to go out in space. I want to become a cyborg. You know, I want to do all kinds of zany science fiction stuff. <laughs> okay. That sounds cool. Very interesting. And you already said about a few things about your new album. So what is your, your current project? Uh, my current project right now, obviously is hero quest Genesis. It just came out. Uh, it's introducing the, 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 you know, the TCG world of world building and storytelling with these characters from MetaZoo um, and connecting it to my music. There has never been this kind of, a uh, bridge between so, so defined like hero quest. Um, and I'm excited to create the evolution of what this world really is to everyone. People are very excited. These trading cards are in high demand now. 
I mean, we were, we sold 30,000 CDs, which is wild to me in five hours. Wow. We just, we, yeah, we, we did a pre-order. Uh, we, we told the fans at this day, at this time, um, we're going to make these CDs with these trading cards, these hero quest trading cards. So inside here is these, uh, is a pack right here. And it comes with one card. This one's open. Um, and it comes with one card, the 64 card set that we introduced. We're like, Hey guys, it's a new, it's a new trading card set by MetaZoo, um, that, that we created. And, and we were like, well, it's only gonna be available for a few hours and it sold 30,000 CDs wow. in, in 2022, no one sells 30,000 CDs. I actually want to know another artist that sold 30,000 CDs in five hours <laughs> in the last 10 years. Please tell me. I really, I really want to know. Um, but definitely in 2022, I might be the one artist that sold more CDs than any other artist, um, besides K-pop artists. Fuck my <laughs> life. K-pop okay. artists like sell like a gazillion art. Uh, no other dance label artist has sold anywhere comparable to the number of CDs that we sold. So that goes that goes to show the demand and the healthy community that really wants these these tra trading cards, not only the CDs. And now I just we just saw a trading card of Hero, which is a Chase for five hundred dollars. The CD was six six seven dollars. Wow. So like one trading crazy. card sold for five hundred bucks. So it's kind of cool. That's crazy. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Um.